the circadian system is really designed to organize our behaviors and our internal physiology in a way that's optimal for ourselves. So the, an extreme example, or the, probably the best example, is driving when we sleep and when we wake up. Of course, we want to sleep when it's dark, and um, most people will do that even if it's light at night because of the drive from the internal body clock. Um, similarly, we want to be awake and active during the daytime. So uh, the internal body clock affects our likelihood of good sleep and active wakefulness um, during the night and during the day, respectively. Uh, but it also um, prepares our body for the active wakefulness so that we, we know that when we're awake, we're going to be eating. So it prepares our body more for eating at during the wake, waking hours. So it's all of our body's organs become prepared in that way. Uh, and at rest at night, uh, we can be uh, being rejuvenated, we can be repairing wh what's happened during the day, um, and we can be laying down food reserves uh, or energy, energy reserves in the form of fat during the nighttime when we sleep. So it's a way of just optimizing our physiology according to, the, to match the environment, really. If you're going to go with your, your body's desires and needs, then we probably would all go to sleep a little bit earlier than we generally do. And if we do that, that might solve the problem, because then you would be asleep at a time when your appetite could, could, would be the greatest. Uh, if you stay awake, then, the, then you're awake at a time where, the, as I said, your appetite is, is the highest, and that might predispose to more food intake and, um, and therefore weight gain. How do we counteract that? Well, that's not been well studied. There have been some studies which show in a correlational way that those people who have been trying to lose weight, if they have the largest meal um, in the middle of the day or at breakfast, but not in the evening, then they tend to be able to lose more weight than other people who have their largest meal in the evening. Mm -hmm. So if you go with that study, then it may be best to keep your largest meal earlier in the day. Or you could, um, you could try to do the opposite of what sumo wrestlers do. Sumo wrestlers avoid breakfast, but they want to put on weight. And that sounds counterintuitive, but they have the largest meals later in the day. Um, so uh, so there's, there's some you know, sort of anecdotal evidence that eating late in the day um, is good for gaining weight. And so if you want to do the opposite, one would you probably should follow that old ad adage that you know, eat like a king in the morning, uh, a prince at lunch, and a pauper in the evening. Well, I think that you know, there's nothing wrong with an evening meal, but uh, it's, snack it's probably the snacking later on in the evening that's not going to do people good.